Oof, what's going on everybody? Uh, today we're gonna start with how we got to Nashville, you know, basically, you know, how we became homeless and everything. Where it all started in Orlando, you know, we was downtown, sleeping at the bus station, sleeping by the soccer stadium, you know, and I'ma be honest with y'all, you know, it was a, it was a real hard time, you know, for me just being outside of having my mom outside, you know, so. I walk around, smoke my weed, smoke my molly, you know. I ain't know, I ain't know where to turn to until, I'ma say, we was out there for like a month. We was out there for a month, mom. What, we were in Orlando? Yeah. It felt like a month. We was out there a week and a half. Yeah, well, shit, it felt like a month. <laughs> we was out there a week and a half. A week and a half, that shit felt like a month. You heard me? But we ran into somebody who my mama actually knew and she told us about, you know, getting a bus ticket if you have an ID showing, basically, if showing you like family, where you from, yeah, like like if, if you, you had, had family, family somewhere, somewhere in another you know. State, and they would say that they would um, pick you up and provide you shelter, then they would pay for your bus ticket, whatever bus or plane ticket, wherever you want to go. Right, and I had a Tennessee ID, you know, so... We had family out here, and we called the family, let them know. They was like, oh, yeah, we got y'all. You know, y'all could come out here. We gonna help y'all out, you know what I mean? And we got on the bus the next day. The, like, the very next day we got on the bus, we had to walk 40 minutes to the bus station. Um, Wait, what, eight, what? The next morning before yeah, the bus came? Yep, the next morning, so the next morning the before the bus came. Uh, we stayed overnight at the bus station. We threw all our clothes away because that shit got heavy as fuck. I, you know, I threw my game away. I threw my computer away. Apple. Apple computer. Um, I threw a lot of clothes away. Uh, tennis shoes. Uh, she had brushes, shoes. Brushes. Good, good, like real good stuff. You Everything know? we had, we had a photo. And we came here. Now the start of us coming here, I was at one cousin house. You know, I'm, I'm I'm not gonna say the real name, so I'm gonna call this cousin Diamond. <laughs> you hear me? So I was at this cousin Diamond house. You know, now mind y'all, I'm really just getting to meet everybody down here. You know, I don't really know everybody. They know my mama, they don't know me, you know? So I'm at my cousin Diamond house for a while. It's going good, it's going good. You know, well now I, I feel like, as me, I feel like it's time for me to get to know everybody. You hear me? And I'm not just gonna get to know everybody by staying in this one house. So I decided to leave and go by my cousin Chase's house and his old lady. You know, so my cousin Diamond, she got mad at me or whatever like that because I left and all this and this. Why? I don't have no idea. I don't really care. You know, I'm I'm 25. You, you can't get mad because I'm, I'm leaving your house. You're not my mama. You don't take care of me. You know, none of that. None of that, you know, even when I was there, I gave you bread. You can't say I didn't do that. So, it's, you know, I can leave if I want to. So, I go to my cousin Chase's house with his girlfriend. I was there for what, three months, I want to say, maybe two months. I don't know how long I was there. But I got me a job. I was working at Rainforest. No, I was there before that, man. Oh, yeah, you were. So, I got me a job at Rainforest Cafe at Opera Mills. You know, I was doing good. I was doing real good, you know, I started as a bus, I mean, as a dishwasher, then I, they wanted me to bus, then I played the mascot, cha-cha, you know, then they wanted me to cook, they wanted me everywhere, retailing everywhere, so. The whole time, I'm still at Diamond House. <laughs> yeah, she's still at Diamond House. So, I'm working in, in, in everything, trying to get me a house, you know, I'm doing good, I'm doing real good. Um, Then I wound up in the hospital. What happened with me at the hospital was my intestines went to leak in air and I had an ulcer that ruptured into my stomach and it went to leak acid into my stomach. You know, and so I had to, had to um, have emergency surgery and everything. But as I'm loading on to the, the, the ambulance, I see my cousin, them key that was on the ground and I picked it up, you know, trying to be helpful. But when they called me for the key, I was on morphine, you know, and I, I totally forgot about the key. You know, like these people just came and told me that I might have emergency surgery. I didn't have nobody there with me at that time. His stomach started hurting at Cousin Chase's house. Right. They had a car, but 
they refused to bring my baby to the hospital. So they told right. him he's going to have to call the ambulance. So right. I had to call the ambulance for his myself. cousin. This is my first cousin now. You know, I had to call the ambulance myself, by the way. You know, and um. Now, this is cousin that I grew up with. Like, this is cousin that I call, I considered, I, at that time, I considered my sisters and brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's how close we were. Our parents are sister and brothers. Right. You know, now, I'm in a hospital. You know, my mama came up there. And then that's when she found it. Like, she actually found a key in my bag. And I, I told her, I'm like, I ain't got no key in my bag. And then she showed me. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, man, that's that's my cousin Chase caught. You know what I mean? Woo, 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 or whatever like that. So his girlfriend, she texted my phone like, oh, you stole my my key and all At this time, like I that. I didn't know all this going right. on. I never told her that these text messages were getting brought to me. I'm just now finding out about this. Um, she said, "Oh, well, it's it's best for you to leave and you stole from me and this da 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 woo woo woo." Now they didn't drop their shit, fucked up, high, drunk, like they be every day. You feel me? I, I don't steal from nobody. I don't got to steal from nobody. You help, and this thing about it, you help me get off the street. You feel me? You help me get get me and my mama head off concrete. You feel me? So why would I why would I even think we about doing that to you? We come right. Bitch, if I'm gonna right. steal your key, bitch, I'm gonna run out, I'm gonna take your car. Right. I'm gonna drive your car, bitch. Right. I'm gonna your people. Right. Come on. Like like make it like it. really 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 make it make sense. I didn't know that's the type of people I was dealing with. You know, like really make it make sense. So then as a as a town, like you know, like the town where I'm now at my cousin Chase house, I got this other cousin named Jonathan you know him and this one chick had dealings you know like they really had dealings they was doing anything or whatever like that and then I'd run into the chick you know I'm not gonna get into like what happened or whatever like that but everybody got mad at me because I didn't show up to this party or whatever like that that we were supposed to be having was it on me that I show up to, didn't show up to the party fuck no did I have a car no I didn't you know, I told you come get me. We told you come get us twice, and you said no. And see, so that's the part that cousin Jonathan didn't tell everybody. Cousin cousin Jonathan acting like they just shitted on him. He don't know what's going on. He ain't got no contact with them. Ain't nobody showing up. That's what cousin Jonathan making the shit look like. And on top of that, the chick that he was previously talking about, cousin Jonathan making it look like you know, oh, this is just some bitch I smashed. She just some pass out, pass around pussy. So get it if you can get it. You know, and even when I met her after he told me that, I didn't even go at her like that. You know, I really didn't. Like, he called me in front of her and he was just like, oh, did you fuck already? Why is she right there? You know, and I'm like, bro, like, nigga, you tripping. Like, don't, don't do that. You know, like, don't, don't, don't do nothing like that. You know what I mean? So everybody mad at me. Now at this point, everybody mad at me. For whatever reason, I don't know. You know, everybody mad at me. Everybody feeling some type of way towards me now at this at, at this at this certain point you know now let's fast forward past the hospital I, you know i get out the hospital i go back to my cousin diamond house with my mama to try to see if i could be there for a while because i just got out the hospital like i even fresh out the hospital okay and she was like oh let's go upstairs to talk so we go talk and she's basically trying to make me become a liar because she get it in her head that me and this chick had relations going on Which you know is, if you did what the fuck business of hers is it? right like if i did what is it your business right. and you know you, i'm your little cousin i just got out of the hospital stitches just got pulled out me an hour before you talking to me and you want what type of what's what the fuck is going on here right like, so then like let me tell y'all it was so crazy so i told her i'm like look make what you're telling me a fact you know what she said oh well i feel like that so that's what it is what then i told her hold on wait time out now make like you you keep saying this but make it a fact then she said the girl talked to her the girl ain't never not once talked why to you even, she don't even fool with you so I how did she talk to why, you why why was that even a problem like what why was that even a fucking issue right now let's fast forward when i when i'm i'm i, I moved back in with 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 my cousin jonathan who the problems was all surrounding you know so I move in with my cousin Jonathan because he was like, oh, I'm going to help you cuz and all this other stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, cool. 
So I'm at his house. Paying rent. Paying rent. Now, I'm paying him rent. I have never not once got a key. Ever. But I'm paying you rent, but you're wondering when I'm leaving out your house and you're trying to count my pockets. You know, like if I and spend a dollar, all his money out. if I spend a dollar, is is oh my oh, oh my gosh, you, you better cash. you better save this, uh, you better do that, uh, you better, better do that, cause you know you gotta go. Why you, why you, why you? You know what I mean? Then on top of that, he, he like he's he's going around telling people that I'm broke, and all I'm doing is just spending my money on my gun and weed and all this shit like this here. You heard me? When we could really dive deep. Since you want to try to go run off and tell people about what I'm doing with my money when I can definitely tell people what you're doing with your money because you forgot to talk to me like that. Period. You know, and that's what I be trying to tell people. Like people talk to me and tell me shit or tell me stuff, but they won't do dirt to me and won't act like they're the, they're the victims. Yep. You know, when, 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 but when, when I bring that real to them, right, but when I bring that real to them, it's, oh my God, she's lying. No, I ain't going to never lie to cut no real with nobody. You heard me? If you get mad, you just get mad. You get in your feelings, you just get in your feelings. I don't care because I'm always keeping real. That's me. You heard me? For real. Now, you know, I moved out. Uh, uh, so, you know, I, I just got tired of it. You know, I, I had just lost my job because somebody stole my gun from work. And they said that because it was a kid's restaurant. You know, so I just so I just lost my job at Rainforest. And I just got tired of it. So, remember, so I left. And then he called his he called my mama trying to talk shit about me and my mama shut his ass down, and so he called his sister with a victim ass story and she kicked my mom out. You know. I won't get on the phone and tell her what the conversation was with me and her grown ass brother. I'm grown. I'm 43 years old. I don't need you calling me questioning me about whatever whatever it is whatever your brother told you. That's what happened because we ain't gonna talk about that. Now mind you, I'm sitting at her house. She calling me from her sister house questioning me about what happened with me and her brother. Whatever your brother told you, that's what happened because I'm not a child and I'm not about to sit and answer you. Um, so, so because I didn't want to answer her, then she, she told me I had to leave. Yes, you know, she, she told me mama she had to leave. You know, so... My cousins, no. My cousins. Her cousins. Nah. Her you know, cousins. Yeah, my cousins. And keep in mind, in her house, I'm not standing up for free either. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, every time I got a little money, I would put something in your pocket. I don't even pay help pay your rent. My whole fucking food stamp card is going to your house. We all eating off my food stamp card. I'm paying my way. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, ain't nobody doing, ain't nobody here clearly did nothing for us for free. Every time I got a cousin Jonathan car, I had to pay gas money. Right. And then every on top of that, time. I didn't pay, I didn't gave money everywhere. I laid my head Every at. piece of weed I smoked, I had to fucking buy. You know, and then it was like, even, even when I was at a house, you know, like, I couldn't leave no weed roaches around because it's getting <laughs> stole. You know, if I try to wake up to, to a half a blunt the, the, the next morning, I'm going to have to roll me a whole new blunt because my shit is getting stole. You know, at my cousin, at my cousin Chase's house, he, they, they, didn't, they, they stole something that's, that's dear to my heart. That's dear to me. You know, like they stole something that's really dear to me. You heard me, but I'm wrong for getting mad. I'm wrong for being mad. You know, they try to be, they be trying to beat me mad. Like, you heard me like, I don't deserve and to I, be, and, and you feel I me? Just, I and then they act like, oh my gosh. Wrong, but I just sum it up and chalk it up as fucking jealousy. Right. You know what I'm saying? But one thing for sure too, for certain, man, y'all can't fucking stop us. And that's the whole fucking problem. Y'all ain't no, y'all not gonna come in between me and my son's relationship. That's off top. Nobody's gonna do that. And everybody hate me and my son's relationship. I'm sorry, but everybody can't be me and everybody can't be my son. Love it or hate it. Either way it go, I don't give a fuck. Cause I ain't gonna never ever beg a bitch or a nigga. And I ain't gonna ever ever need nobody that motherfucking bad. Period. Cause I know I am straight up blessed because I ain't nothing but a blessing. Exactly. You know, so it's like, then he gonna tell me like he oh, I fed him. Yeah, cool, if nigga. That's all you can say is Listen. that you, you bought your your little cousin a plate of food. How many times I done called you? How many times you done called me and said, "Cause I'm hungry, I need a hot meal," and I done got in that kitchen and pulled out my good meat that I bought with my good food stamps and went on and cooked my cousin a whole full square hot meal with no goddamn problem. Yep. Come on, man. We family. We blood. That's what we do. That's what people supposed to do for people. Period. No matter if you can or not. Yep. So you did that just to you. You did cool. You and brought you me some food just to just to bring it back up. You heard me. But don't forget I paid your bills. Son. 
And if you all you can do is talk about that you bought him a plate of food, nigga, get the fuck off my phone. You heard me like don't forget. I paid your bills. I was paying your bills. You a, you, what you, do you, you mean? You, fucked up ass individual. you know, and then you 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 like you got this girl in your house making everybody you know to everybody like this, this like this girl hold on because somebody's coming good morning good morning so what is what is around this no oh, you're just on the video and yeah. I'm yeah yeah i'm gonna post it on youtube but you got everybody thinking that this girl selling pussy and fucking all these other niggas. Yeah. But then you get in the house and be like, oh my gosh, boo, I love you. Mm -hmm. Baby, I love you. You know, and then like when you I get on the phone. And his two sisters like dragging for the girl. The two sisters hating the girl. Because you know what I'm saying? I had my little issue with her too. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I don't care what the fuck goes on. My loyalty is with my little cousin. And I'm think I had to get grown about this shit because there's two, three sides to every story. And I know if this girl that bad, why the fuck you ain't put the girl out yet? Certain things just ain't none of my business. So I ain't gonna hate the little chick like that. You know what I'm saying? Like if girl look, if he if he tricking off that money, girl get that money. Right. Right. Because if a person treating you as bad as he say she is, why the fuck you still got the girl in your house? Right. You know it's every time you look around, he's saying, Oh, he gotta spend his money on her and all this and that, but you complaining. Right. And then like you 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 listening to my conversation going back talking talking about it with people. You heard me like why? Why are you doing all this? You hear me? But I just got tired of it, you know, so I'm just like I'ma like, just get away from everybody, you heard me? Every you like that's why I say I don't you got no family. I don't got no family, I don't you know no, I'm strictly like, like, you know what? It's I just me and my mama. Family. This right here just put the icing on it. Right, it, it, it's because just me, my mom, and my brother, you hear me? And then, like, since we've been out to, siblings. since we've been out to motherfucking, so, you know, like, my dog, Jared, Jared and, Jared and Samantha. That's family. Listen, I salute y'all. Y'all been holding us down since we've we been here. Period. I salute y'all for real. Period. And they still doing it with no problem. With no, oh, we're we, we, we going to need this back. Street, you know, strangers picked us up yeah, and dust us off. Right. And the most high is setting our blessings in place. Right. Right, y'all thought y'all was doing something, but his head is cool. Mm, I said, you know. watch your footstools in our, in, in our forecast. Yes. You know, but yes. Yeah, that's, that's. It, it's okay. But that's, that's the, 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 the true background of out. everything that happened on why well, we became yeah, homeless. Know. Right. <laughs> you know, like how we became homeless and what happened. I mean, I could go like deeper into like a mm. lot of. You know, I can elaborate more, but that's for like this, another this, this video. This is the first video, This is just the first video, you know. But, um, and yeah. this is what? This is day seven? This, no, this is day Friday 12. Day this is day 12 for us at the shelter. 12. This is day three for me at work and day four for her. Well, it was going to so be five. This is my off day. So this you is my fifth, the fifth day that I, since I had my job. Yes, and this will be my fourth. And, uh, but, yeah, we'll be back. With more videos for y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. And peace. Love like, and subscribe, blessings. and comment. And we'll be back.